Zeratsu, Spring Drive, Snowflake, Inspired by Nature, Annoying Lugwiths. Mutter any of these words or phrases around those in the know about watches, and they will blurt out, Grand Seiko. While the luxury Japanese watchmaker has been pushing up market for the past couple years, their catalog is full of values to be had. One of the best values in that collection is the watch we will be looking at today, the Grand Seiko SBGM 221. The Grand Seiko SBGM 221 is a quirky watch. At first glance, you might classify it as a dress watch, but wait, it has a GMT. So it must be a tool watch then, right? With no loom present on the dial, it can be argued that it is not a tool watch either, strange to say the least. However, that quirkiness gives it charm not present in some of other Grand Seiko's more lavish offerings. The SBGM 221 can easily fall into classic dress watch proportions. Coming in at 39.5 millimeters wide, with a lug-to-lug -lug of 47 millimeters, it will sit comfortably on almost any wrist. The 13.7 millimeter case height, which seems thick on paper, is completely mitigated by the shape of the case, bringing it down to only 10.5 millimeters from wrist to crystal. Wearing the SBGM 221 on a daily basis is an absolute treat. The lugs of the case are thin and turned down with a gentle curve. They keep the shape of the case looking elegant. The ivory cream dial changes dramatically depending on the light hitting the face of the watch, and when that heat blue GMT hand lights up, you realize how well it coordinates with the dial color. Although the 19mm lug width is annoying for those of us with mostly 20 and 22mm straps, it does keep the case proportions in line. The crocodile strap included isn't exactly my thing, but the deployment clasp that it comes on is wonderful. It is finished just as well as the rest of the watch, and is more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. The 30 meters of water resistance, or as Grand Seiko calls it, splash resistance, might keep this watch out of the pool, but it didn't affect my enjoyment of it whatsoever. Even though I don't have a ton of use for this complication, it is one of my favorites. Something about that fourth hand gives the watch a little something extra. The Grand Seiko Caliber 9S66 GMT movement is in a spring drive, but that doesn't mean it isn't as beautiful or technically amazing as the higher beat rate movements from Grand Seiko. The 9S66 is a true GMT movement, meaning that the hour hand jumps independently of the other hands on the dial. The idea here is that when you're getting ready to travel or change time zones, you adjust the GMT hand to your home time. When you arrive at your destination, you adjust the main hour hand to your local time. This allows you to read the local time as you would normally on a three-hand watch, but be able to reference your home time quickly using the GMT hand. This is perfect for judging if it's the right time for those late-night calls back home when across the globe. This video isn't long enough to go into the details of what Zeratsu polishing is, or why it is so beautiful to look at. Take my word for it that Zeratsu polishing is extremely technical and labor-intensive. The case of the SBGM 221 is entirely Zeratsu polished. It is difficult to describe just how good the mirror polish looks on this watch, but I realized how good it was the first time I saw my reflection in it. It blew me away how clear it was. When taking photos and videos for the review, I kept having to move my head or body out of the way because it was showing up so clearly in the reflections. With other watches, it is almost impossible to make out my face or body in reflections when taking photos. Not so here, not with Zeratsu polishing. What is even more astounding about the finishing on the case of the SBGM 221 is the shape of the case and the fact that the polishing is so perfect throughout. There are almost no flat surfaces on the case of the SBGM 221. The bezel slopes down away from the crystal and has a small chamfer before it dips back in towards the center of the case. Combine all of this case polishing perfection with the hands and markers and you have a watch that makes you just want to twist your wrist back and forth all day just to see those beautiful reflections. Even though this watch has no loom, it almost isn't needed because of how reflective the hands and markers are. The smallest amount of reflected light will allow them to jump off the dial and you can easily read the time. It is the only watch without loom I have worn that has this effect. 
The SBGM221 is a weird watch and it occupies a weird space. It isn't quite a dress, tool, or sport watch, or at least not specifically one of those. It is all three combined, and it brings the best of all those worlds into one watch. Even though the Grand Seiko value proposition may be harder to justify with their new releases, it is undeniable that their current offerings still bring amazing value to the table. The SBGM221 is perhaps the best example of that. It has everything that makes Grand Seiko what they are and won't absolutely destroy your wallet. The SBGM221 has been my favorite Grand Seiko for some time. Even with all the new releases Grand Seiko puts out on what seems like a daily basis, the SBGM221 will likely stay that way. It's just too damn good. Thanks for checking out the video review. For the full written review, head over to watchclicker.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.